Hi YouTubers, it's Saturday night and I'm on my third tablet now. Um, the second one, well the first one broke as I mentioned before and it needs to be sent back. We did buy a two year warranty but I'm having a lot of trouble um, getting answers from the warranty company or whatever so um, I guess I still have to deal with that to get the first one that broke sent back. Then I got a second one, and Walmart was wonderful about getting me a second one. Um, I mean, we bought it, you know, so of course they just sold another one. Um, but they, um, the second one was the reason that my mouth and the words didn't match. Um, also, it shut down when it felt like it. And there was a third issue, and now I can't remember what the third issue was. Um, anyway, there were three things going on. So I took that back to Walmart today. I'd had it a week. And I took it back today It um, and traded it in for this one. Now this one, as I'm talking now, my mouth doesn't seem to be matching the words like my first one did, you know, like the first one did, the right one. But the last time, I, but I did try this earlier, and when I watched it, they matched. So I guess that's what really counts, not what I see right now, but... Um, what you see later um, but I did I really like this tablet um, this is like I said my third one it's our fourth one because my husband still has his original one from oh way back what six seven weeks ago um, I'm a little not happy that this one has tonight developed a green line across it and it's a real skinny line. It's about a half inch from the edge. Earlier it was toward the middle. Now it's moved over about a half an inch from the edge of the screen. And it's skinny. I mean, I can still read. I can still, it doesn't really affect the picture that much except for it's a lime green line going through my new tablet that shouldn't be there. Um, I tried restarting it. I tried changing the wallpaper. I, I don't know what's causing it. I don't know where it came from. Um, when I touch it, it doesn't do anything. I can't move it. So I don't know. But I still like this tablet. I still like the everything about it. Um, and I think they're great tablets, except for I wish I wouldn't have dropped mine. <laughs> that's when all the bad stuff starts. You know, and then I can see I got another one that's not so great. And now here I got one with a straight green line through the edge. I don't know. It's on the opposite side of the tablet from my camera, so that's why I keep looking over there, looking at the line. Maybe it'll disappear as quickly as it appeared. I have no idea why I have it. I have no idea. I will live with it. I'm not taking this back. I'm not swapping this out again. I will live with it um, as long as it stays just like it is and doesn't get any bigger. Um, anyway, this is the tablet I have. Next book. I brought out the box see and that's what the box looks like um, eight inch Android tablet dual core um, with Android 4.1 jelly bean um, the list of all the things it's got now I'm not <coughs> excuse me um, I'm gonna have to put my other glasses on sorry <clears throat> Let's see. Capacitive touch screen, OTA capable. Don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look that up. Wi-Fi, obviously, 8 gigabyte internal memory. I also have an 8 gig card here. It takes up to 32, but I have an 8 gig card, so that's what I put in it. 1024 by 768 HD, 4, by 4 to 3 ratio, 5 finger capacitive multi-touch. Um, the front facing camera, which is the one that I'm using now, um, is 0.3 uh, megapixel, which is not a lot of megapixels. <laughs> um, I may go back to using the Jazz, who knows, uh, especially if I can't stop looking at the green line. The rear facing camera is 2 megapixel, but it's kind of worthless. It, it, really, it really doesn't uh, take great pictures, but I did not get this for the camera. Um, I, I like using it for um, these vlogs, but I didn't buy it for the camera, so that's fine. Um, the ports, 
Uh, it's got a mini HDMI, a micro USB, a micro SD card slot, 3.5 millimeter head or earphone jack. It's got a microphone, obviously I'm talking into it, and Wi-Fi 802.11 BGN, which is standard stuff. Um, I have 5 gigabytes of cloud storage from SugarSync, whatever that is. I'm not a big fan of just putting my stuff out there and saying that's my stuff and trusting it out there. Um, whether for somebody else to come take it or look at it or just to lose it. I just, you know, I'm not a fan of putting my stuff out there. I have an external hard drive that's good enough for me. Um, six hours of hard, you know, for the battery. I don't know. I'm not even going to go into that because battery never does what it says it's going to do. Um, you know, it's got a protective pouch. <whistles> um, speaker, e an ebook store, but whatever. So, you know, I guess it's all pretty standard stuff, um, but having a gigabyte internal memory and having the dual core, to me, I thought, with the front and back cameras, to me, I thought that was pretty good for the $99 compared to all the other ones I've looked at. So, um, and I really like this. I like the way it feels in my hand, and I like the way the controls are, and I like everything about it. So, um, you know, little green line or no line, I'm I don't think I'm going to take this one back. It's, I'm just going to keep it. Um, it says that this has shop and read on the go for 2.3 million books, and that's the ebook store it comes with. It's called Kobo, K O B O. Um, oh, that's for Canada, I guess. I don't know. Um, oh, it comes with Nook. I already deleted Nook. I had a bl bad experience with Nook. Um, or with Barnes & Noble, so I deleted Nook. I have my Kindle that, on here. That's great. It's got the Co CloudLink Flickster. I don't use Flickster. NetNanny, I don't use NetNanny. SpringPad, whatever that is, I haven't used it. So Anyway, um, this was manufactured in June 2013. Uh, the first one I got was manufactured in, I think, February, but maybe April. Um, so this is, I guess, a newer one. Um, Anyway, the one thing I wonder about is, is if it would take a, um, uh, a dongle, a 3G dongle, because um, it has settings for that, and it shows usage, and it, um, it has a setting that you can turn on for that. So I'm wondering if it would take one. I don't know. It doesn't say anything about it in the um, book or on the box or anything, so I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever have one. We're probably going to get a hotspot, but I doubt if we'll get dongles because why well, have two when we can get one hotspot? So that's it. Um, I wanted to talk about my tablet. I wanted to, you know, because I like it. I really like it. I don't like that green line, but it showed up suddenly. Maybe it'll go away suddenly. I mean, nothing's happened to it. Nothing got set on it. Um, and it has moved. It's in a different spot. So, um, I don't believe it's damage of any sort. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't be. Um, it won't move when I touch it. But anyway, so this is this is what I have, and um, that's the tale of my first three net or next books, and hopefully there will never be a fourth. <laughs> so um, I hope all is well. Tomorrow's church, of course, and I've already practiced my music. I've got my um, stuff in the oven for the dish to pass. One of our members is moving out of the area, and so we're having a party for her after church tomorrow, potluck, which um, our church loves to do potlucks, and I'm glad because I like them too. So I've got some vegetables roast, chopped vegetables roasting in the oven, and I've got the sauce and the meat and the onions all cooked and ready to go with the vegetables when they're done roasting. Roasting, doing that extra step just adds so much more flavor, so I've got to do it. Um, you know, it would be easy to throw everything together in a big cooker and cook it up, but um, doing it this way adds a lot more flavor, and my brothers and sisters at church are more than worth it. So anyway, that's it. Um, I hope everybody has a blessed week. It's having a blessed weekend. Um, I hope you are in your church tomorrow and especially praying for your pastor and your pastor's wife. Um, as we do um, tonight, my grandson and I prayed for them. Um, I've talked before about, you know, they probably need prayer more than just about anybody because they undergo so much attack and they're, they have a soul for their 
um, church members and um, they're they're really special people to be in that position of a pastor and wife so um, actually they both share the ministry um, anyway so I'm looking forward to church tomorrow potluck tomorrow concert tomorrow night at 4 1 and um, it's just going to be right here in town and I'm excited about that so lots to look forward to tomorrow um, hopefully I'll be able to get back on here tomorrow night tell you about the concert I also want to talk a little bit about my mom things have been changing but I'm at 10 minutes already I don't know how this goes so fast so have a good night have a blessed Lord's Day tomorrow and I'll see you next time bye bye